Hello and welcome to this edition of the SharePoint training web series. I'm going to demonstrate to you the capability of collaborative editing in SharePoint. The idea behind this being that users can co cooperatively work on documents without having to go through the traditional check-in, check-out process. Now, what I mean by that is with the traditional way of working with online documents is through a check-in, check-out system. That means whoever's editing the document at the time kind of has a lock on it. No one else can really do anything until they're done. So if several people need to contribute to a document or a spreadsheet or something, a report, they have to wait for everyone in line to get their things done. And that's not very efficient. So what I mean by that, um, you see we, we have the checkout option here in SharePoint on the context menu of a document. Once you check out a document, you place a lock on that. No one else can make any edits. S same way that, you know, checking out a book at a library. You take, you're take basically taking that book out of the library to where no one else can do anything with it until you're done with it. So that's the traditional way of doing things. But with collaborative editing, you don't have to pass the document or spreadsheet around between each of your users. You can do it at the same time. Now I'm going to just demonstrate that with this Word document here, the marketing brainstorm. Simulate um, a brainstorming session between uh, two users. So I've signed in as Rob Young, one of our test users. And I've got another window that I'm signed in as administrator and I'm going to show you in just a moment. I'm going to open the Word document. It opens in view only mode in Word Online. And you, right now you're unable to make any edits. That's the default behavior. In order to make an edit on the document, you click Edit Document from this context menu. And we can edit in browser, which gives us the capability of editing in Word Online. So right now, I'm in edit mode. I have all of my controls available to me and I can work as normal. So if I make some edits here, it's working as normal and draw your attention to the top bar here. It'll advise you of how it's saving your changes. It automatically sends your edits as soon as possible to the server to minimize any potential for data loss. And that's a really good feature of the Office Online applications. So what I'm gonna do is take out this guy and then I'm gonna pull up my other win window and I'm gonna put them side by side that, so they can see how, to, how collaborative editing works um, using a simulation of two users. So I'm gonna Hitting this guy to the side. And over here on my right, um, I mentioned, I'm signed in as the administrator. And I'm gonna open the exact same document that Rob Young is working on. So you see here, we have the exact same document open. And he's gonna go into edit mode as well. Now you'll notice as soon as he does this, it'll pop up with a notification right here someone else is editing this document and Rob Young gets the same notification. And you'll notice also that it does a good job of notifying you exactly what's going on with the other users. So it keeps track of where the cursors are. So in this scenario, administrator who just signed in to edit the document, his cursor is ready to go at the beginning of the, of the document before this header here. Um, his cursor is right here before the M. If you draw your attention to administrator screen, you see that the cursor is a couple lines down, ready to type. And if I move my cursor, notice on the right, Rob Young's cursor updated appropriately. So to see the collaborative editing action, I'm going to type as Rob Young. So. And you see over here, it immediately 
came up on administrator screen. It's kind of a an interactive chat room almost, but instead of some something like Skype that we're used to, or, or the Skype chat, you type your message first and hit enter to send, it just automatically the edits are pushed as soon as you make your keystrokes. So administrator is going to make a reply here, and I'm again I'm styling this as a conversation. Um, I can only type in one place at a time, <laughs> um, but if they were to make simultaneous edits, I mean down to the, you know, if they're just typing or hammering on the keyboard at the same time, it would um, show up at the same time. So in my scenario, I'm just going to go ahead and reply to um, Rob. All right. So over here on Rob's screen, I'm going to start typing again. Now I come back to the other side. Notice the cursor updates. So that's really the, the core concept of collaborative editing. It can be used in a multitude of ways. Um, what we're seeing here is kind of the most basic in terms of anything goes. So it can be, it's not very tightly, um, you know, push comments, you know, no editing, no auditing um, as the actual editing process is happening. It's just as soon as the keystrokes happen, as soon as you hit any keys, that communication between your two instances happens and the other users know exactly what's going on and the results are reflected on the page. So as you can see, it's a really cool, neat kind of thing to do, especially in this kind of situation where you want a document done quickly and to make notes make brainstorming sessions, keep meeting minutes, um, that kind of idea. And, it, and it's all made possible um, through the power of SharePoint. So I hope that really gives you a good understanding of the power of this. And that's it for my video. I'll see you next time. Thank you.